Gamer Tag Radio presents E3 2017 coverage. Host Danny Pena, Paris Lilly, and Peter Toledo are direct from the convention center floor. Here we go. So I'm Doug Desoliani, creative director of Mario Plus Rabbits Kingdom Battle, and I'm here with uh, Xavier Manzanares. <laughs> And I'm the uh, lead producer on the project. Awesome, man. So how long have you guys been working on this project, man? Uh, it's been more than three years now. Uh, we started to work in uh, 2014 and, uh, and uh, hard work since then. And how, how uh, you guys were very emotional today, man, uh, you know, seeing the support from Nintendo and everything. How, how was that experience, man? And them also supporting, supporting you guys. So I can talk about it indeed, uh, you know, the great relationship we have with them. It's a uh, mm-hmm. strong mutual respect. From the very beginning when we started to prototype you know, the game itself and uh, talk about the concept, they were super happy to see that you know, it's not, there's passion but also expertise and they, you know, mm-hmm. they are really into the design aspect. But uh, I can let you uh, speak a bit about how it started as well on your side. Yeah. Uh, when I've been told that uh, I uh, had to work with Nintendo in a game that could feature both Rabbits and Mario. Mm-hmm. We immediately understood that it was a lifetime opportunity. So we brainstormed night and day in order to find something unique for both Mario and the Rabbits. Uh, we'll, as a, a tactical fan, we love the idea of using those guy mm-hmm. in order to propose something completely fresh for the turn base gameplay and at the same time we wanted to stay true to the Mario universe and that's why we decided to mix the combat phases with the adventure phases and at some point when we felt that we have uh, had a strong idea we decided to have a meeting with Nintendo and we said okay we only have three weeks and a half mm-hmm. to create a prototype and the time was really short, but uh, we spent all our effort on it. And when I finally met with uh, Mr. Miyamoto, which is the creator of my favorite game and the inspiration of all my career as a game designer, I was like divided in two. The passionate Nintendo player mm-hmm. and the Ubisoft creative director. The urgency to ask for an autograph and the responsibility to present the game. But it, at the end, it went well. Miyamoto said that he was impressed. And he kept asking me, how oh, could you add Mario and Luigi in your prototype? Mm-hmm. But the truth is that even if we had only three weeks and a half to create a prototype, we reworked and recreated Mario and Luigi from scratch, the model, the animation, the rig, mm-hmm. to translate their essence in our prototype. And I think it was in that right moment where we convinced Nintendo of our passion and commitment. That's pretty awesome. Man. And I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Nintendo Switch. I'm always like carrying with it all the time. Every day. So um, is it possible also to play without, like, you know, you could detach the, the controllers. Can you also play like that too? Yeah, so you can play uh, portable mode. You can play on TV as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, pro controller. Uh, we also have co-op mode, so you can play with uh, you know one Joy-Con for one player, the other Joy-Con for the other player. So mm-hmm. all the um, all the uh, system and uh, are possible. So portable and TV mode. And can you talk about uh, the story in the game? A little bit. Sure. About that? So uh, the rabbit just uh, you know used a washing time machine, mm-hmm. like uh, of course they used to uh, do all the time, and. Uh, They've landed into uh, the Mushroom Kingdom itself, and uh, it's not usual. Um, it really, you know, changed the world completely. So chaos, and we have a huge vortex because of that that was created. And um, starting there, the world started to really crumble down. And Mario, of course, as a true hero, he really wants to save the day, but he doesn't know anything about the rabbits. And so that's part of the initial storyline we have in the game. It's really pushing this aspect of Mario and the rabbits discovering themselves and uh, discovering as well the threat. Because at first they don't know why this vortex is in the sky and how it could be solved. But in the end, there's uh, this little fella that we have in the game that is actually the cutest threat ever. That is responsible for all this chaos. It's a small rabbit that we have in the game. Um, So 
that's pretty much the story how it starts and then it goes into surprises after surprises because again you know the rabbits are unpredictable so very very unpredictable <laughs> yeah <laughs> big time <laughs> yeah but no but it's it's a lot of fun man I uh, already played it twice I got I think there was like a demo session on uh, over there. On the other side and as well. Side, yeah, oh, so cool. I'm like, yeah, I was like, let me play, man. I gotta, <laughs> let me get used to it because I wanted to capture this some video. But uh, yes, yeah, a lot, a lot of fun, man. Um, also, can you add more than four characters, or is it just only four characters? You want to say? Uh, no, basically the player will uh, you will mainly use three characters in the team mm -hmm. but uh, we'll choose them amongst a, ro a roster of eight heroes each heroes with their own abilities as you saw in the demo uh, they have those three special action that we call MAT movement attack and techniques and those action can be upgraded expanded throughout the skill tree which in the demo it's uh, something that is not uh, open yet to be tried, but it's one of the core features of the game. So the player will really have the ability to experiment with the heroes, power up their ability, and uh, really concentrate on the synergy between those three type of action, movement, attacks, and techniques, and the differences between the heroes to really uh, solve all the battleground situation they may face. Yeah, and I like that you could also get multiple multiple characters for like, let's say you want to jump to go to like a different area. Um, also, they show me how to attack and do other things multiple times. How many? How many you could do like the most from with one with one character? Can you do multiple more than more than uh, four? So if we go, uh, if, if if we go. To if we go at the end of the game yeah. uh, versus the beginning of the game, because the beginning of the game, basically, so you can dash like you saw in the demo. Yeah, the dash. Uh, yeah. Take a pipe, for instance. Yes, pipe. Team yes. jump, and then uh, land and, uh, and finish your move. Uh, but at the end of the game, or even in the middle of the game, you start to have, uh, for example, Rabbit Peach uh, that you saw in the demo. Mm -hmm. She's able to do a double dash. Oh, double. Uh, later on, a triple dash. Mm. Um, Mario, for instance, can do um, a team stomp. So basically, you team jump, and you can jump on the head of the enemy. But then you can do a double team, team stomp, uh, and et cetera, et cetera. So each character can really expand their you know, movement abilities, that we call. Mm -hmm. um, so it depends on where you are in the game, basically. And also, the, the enemies could do the same, too. And, and they will get even harder and harder, too, right? So Yeah, so what you saw in the demo, uh, basically, you saw the Ziggies, that we call. Uh, they're dashers. Yeah, they really go straight up front, you know, they go to you for you and they don't have a lot of life, but they're really aggressive and they dash. Uh, the globe trotters that you saw as well, those guys do not dash, but they team jump, but they have more life. Mm -hmm. So they tend to be more team workers, you know, they work together. And then you saw the smashers uh, and those guys, every time you attack them, whatever, if it's their turn or not, they come to you and at you, which is quite uh, dangerous. Mm -hmm. So when you mix those three together, they're just the beginning classes of the enemies. Uh, yeah, they teach you how to avoid sometimes doing some elements like going too close to some enemies. Mm -hmm. But they also teach you how to play, you know. If they dash, you know that you can dash. If they team jump, you know that you can team jump. So this is really, it was really important for us. Can you talk about a little bit uh, about the, the blue pipe? Because I, I, went, I went to one and I unlocked a, a weapon and stuff. So. Is it only to unlock new new weapons in those um, pipes? So the bug zone that you saw? Yeah, the, okay. yeah. So basically, those bug zones that are, are part of the story uh, allows the player to... Basically, it's a challenge. It's an additional challenge with a, a timer and that the players will have to solve to retrieve a special chest. And inside the chest, there will be good weapon, basically. Mm. And th but this is just a way to collect more weapons because otherwise players may uh, adventure throughout the world to collect coins that will be used to buy weapons in the battle HQ, which is the place where basically you can set up your team, uh, where you can uh, spend other type of coins that we call uh, power orbs that will uh, be used by the players to upgrade their skill or 
the classical Nintendo coins to buy the weapons. And in each weapon is completely different with their own stats and also what we call super effect. Because in our game, uh, weapons are not there just to, to deal damage, but also to apply additional behavior that we call super effect. So, for example, Xavier before was talking about those smasher that are coming after you even if it's not their turn of movement when you hit them. So you may want to use as a weapon with a super effect which is called Oni. And if this super effect triggers, it glues the enemy on the ground so they cannot move anymore. So you could use that weapon to the major's measure and also prevent him to come after you. This uh, announcement reminds me a lot of when... Uh, oh, what's up? Oh, you want to say something? Um, I, I just finished playing the game right now, and this is probably the most fun I've had playing a Mario or Rabbids game. Like, like thanks, the, the, the combination of the two is amazing. I mean, I'm it took me <laughs> a second to figure out the controls on what exactly I was doing, but once I did, I just had a grin on my face the entire time. This is uh, yeah. an easily the best game on the Switch a lot. right now. <laughs> it, it is I'm that honored. much fun. Yeah, just, I just had to say that. All right, bye. We are super happy. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> so, like this, this announcement reminds me a lot when um, growing up uh, playing uh, Super Nintendo when Square Square worked on a game, an RPG game, a Mario game. So I, I'm getting like the same type of feeling from back then with this. So you know, I'm really, really excited about, about this game, man. So, was there any inspirations of like any? Um, concepts or ideas of a game maybe that inspire you guys to come up with, with this? Yeah. There, there are multiple inf influences so it's a mix between you know in the team uh, you have guys coming from different environments with different uh, elements but it's true that the first thing was of course Mario uh, the turn-based aspect um, and then it's all about action, it's all about Mario Kart, Super Smash was a big influence as well, Super Smash Brothers, because you know it's a crossover between a lot of uh, IPs, really fun, and it works, you know, uh, having Kid Icarus plus uh, Metroid, and it works, I mean, so yeah. Nintendo is really good as well with crossovers, so it was really an influence for everyone. Um, so I would say it's a general mix uh, of things that we wanted to really have. Um, and of course, we know the same games as, as, as you, you know, uh, yeah. Mario RPG at a time with Square Enix. Uh, it was a big fan, you know, a hit as well. It was different. It was not expected. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully, even though it's totally not connected, hopefully uh, we have the same reaction from people saying, hey, it's something that we'll remember, you know, the crossover that uh, you guys did. And uh, so it's really exciting. It's really exciting. I, I, think, so. I think people are going to like this a lot, man. So you want to say anything or that's it? I'm not. Just want to say, man, a release date. Any so release date? August 29th. August 29th. This year. Wow, that's very soon. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but congrats, guys, and much respect. This game is so far my favorite so far from the show. Cool. So, congrats. Thanks a lot.